friends. Welcome to Story Behind Podcast. This is the show for people who love hearing a good story and who believe the world could use more positivity. We're the team behind God Updates and God Too, and we hope these weekly short stories will brighten your day. John Schneider, Dukes of Hazard star, confesses lie he told wife in her final moments. Written by Mel Johnson, read by Adam Staten. John Snyder, Dukes of Hazard star, always tried to be honest with his wife, Alicia Elaine Snyder. However, he recalls one instance in Alicia's final moments where the devoted husband couldn't be entirely truthful. And why is utterly heartbreaking. John Snyder met Alicia Elaine in 2015, and the two married in 2019. The two enjoyed both a personal and professional relationship, working together to produce films and music. However, not long after the couple wed, Alicia received devastating news. Doctors diagnosed her with breast cancer, and by 2020, they told her she only had a few years to left to live. She was three years into a five-year shelf life, John said. Alicia passed away at the age of 53 in February 2023. And though John took comfort in knowing his beloved wife is now pain-free, living in her new body alongside Jesus, his heart broke to lose her. Since losing his wife, John Snyder has been candid about his grief and what life is like as a widower. And while recalling some of his final moments with his wife, John shared a heartbreaking story about the lie he decided to tell her soon before her death. I, of course, told her it, it was okay, he said. If you're tired, if you want to go see your grandma, if you want to see your grandpa, if you want to go, then it's okay, you go. And that was all the truth. But then I lied because I said, don't worry about me, I'll be okay, John explained. That was a lie I had to tell her, but she knew it. Okay is a long way away. Though the loss hit John Schneider hard, the Dukes of Hazard star knows the love he shared with Alicia Lane Schneider is a blessing and he leans on God's truth for comfort amidst the grief. As bad as I heard, I wouldn't trade it a minute of it, he said. Heaven is real, and I'll get there one day, and she'll greet me. At that point, this will seem like nothing, like no time has gone by. Until then, I will endure. That's what she'd want, and I'm going to live the rest of my life doing only that which would make her smile. For his anger is but for a moment. His favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may stay for the night, but joy comes in the morning. Psalm 35. I found myself on a ledge, three stories high at some condominiums, contemplating my life and struggling to understand my purpose. Have you ever found yourself on the ledge? My name is Billy Yates. I'm a caring father, mentor, and friend in my new podcast, Billy and the Goat. I share the life-changing events that shaped who I am today to remind you that no matter how far you've fallen, God can help you get up and thrive. Listen now at lifeaudio.com. At Lowe's, we know that first responders deserve our thanks. We're grateful for the first responders who keep our homes and families safe. To show our thanks, Lowe's invites eligible first responders to register for an exclusive set of coupons. Plus, check out this month's store events and shop fire safety products. Visit us in-store or online today. Lowe's knows home improvement. Terms, exclusions, and restrictions apply. Visit Lowe's.com slash first responders to get more info and register now. Dog sneaks out of animal shelter and into nursing home until he becomes a resident. Written by Adam Staten. Read by Adam Staten. A stray dog with no name and little known about his background continually escaped a shelter, going to extraordinary lengths to reach a nursing home, and did so until he became a permanent resident. Everyone wants to be in a place where they are needed and desired. People want to be somewhere and with someone who values their skills, gifts, and talents. Much like human beings, animals also want to be where they are valued and loved. This seems to be especially true for one stray dog in Michigan. The scout was brought to the Antrium County Animal Shelter in Bel Air, Michigan. Not much was known about the stray dog's background. He didn't even have a name. The staff gave the stray dog the name Scout, according to the Detroit Free Press. However, 
the outlet reports that it was clear to the Antrim County Animal Shelter staff that Scout had been abused. Staff could feel BBs lodged in the animal's face whenever they ran their hands along his lower jaw. The animal had been shot in the face at least once. While the stray animal was at the animal shelter, Scout had other plans. One night, Scout broke out of the shelter. After scaling two fences, including a 10-foot chain-link barrier and a busy highway, he found his way onto the couch of a nearby nursing home. Scout was discovered on the couch in the morning and returned to the shelter. Scout then did it all over again, returning to the Meadowbrook Medical Care Facility primarily for the elderly suffering from terminal illnesses. He was, once again, taken back to the shelter. But this animal was bound and determined. Scout escaped the shelter for a third time. And for a third time, Scout was back at the long-term care facility. After the third time, the staff at the care facility officially adopted Scout, adding him as a resident. Scout has been a welcomed addition since his adoption. He brings love, care, and companionship to the facility's elderly residents. He certainly has a penchant for the elders, Marta Robertson, a member of the nursing home's administration, said. He's very in tune with what they need, especially our very vulnerable population. If they have dementia or if they're dying, he knows that, and he will go and be with them and comfort them. He must have just felt like he needed to be here. In addition to the comfort and love Scout provides, he also gives the residents something else, normalcy. He just brings love and he brings normalcy, you know, said a staff member. When you come into a facility, right, you have a lot of loss. And one of the losses is when people have to leave their homes is pets. So it really helps the residents. This once abused stray dog who didn't even have a name is bringing love and comfort to a group of people who desperately need it. God knew what he was doing when he blessed us with dogs. And God created great wells in every living creature that moves, which the waters brought forth abundantly after their kind, and every winged fowl after his kind. And God saw that it was good. Genesis 1.21 Thank you so much for listening to Story Behind Podcast. We're really glad you joined us for this week's story. To see photos and videos that may have been referenced in this episode, check out the links in the show notes. And if you enjoyed what you heard today, subscribe to our podcast and please tell a friend about us. We'd also love it if you'd rate us and leave us a review. It really does help more people find us. Story Behind is a Salem Web Network production. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, banking with Capital One is the easiest decision in the history of decisions. Kind of like choosing Derek Jeter as the pinch hitter for your baseball team. Jeter, you're in. We need a home run. I'll give it a try. I've swung a bat once or twice. That's out of here. Yep, even easier than that. With no fees or minimums and no overdraft fees, is it even a decision? That's banking reimagined. What's in your wallet? Terms apply. See CapitalOne.com slash bank for details. Capital One and AM member FDIC.